dyes that we're going to dye the sun tea dye method on this week are mahogany, purple heart, bow coat, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and um, paddock. So um, I know paddock is supposed to dye like sandalwood. I'm going to give it a try. The others I've never even seen anybody do. And so um, let's give these guys a try this week, huh? And here are the sun tea dyes for this week, all set up and soaking. Um, I will probably put these out. I'm going to let them soak all day today, and I'll probably put them out in the garden tonight so that they can start soaking tomorrow. Um, we've got rain off and on, small percentage all week. I really hope we get some. Um, but I still think that these are going to get plenty of sun. So anyways, from top to bottom, or from, sorry, from left to right, we have um, paddock. We have bow coat, purple heart, and mahogany. Let's see how these work. So good morning. Um, this is really early in the morning, I think. Okay, it's not that early in the morning. It's 8.30. For a lot of people, it's early in the morning. For me, eh, I've been up for a couple of hours. <laughs> yeah, a couple of hours already. Um, I just wanted to go through the Series 3 um, Sun Tees. Uh, results and stuff with you and kind of give you my idea um, None of these I have ever died before so these are all truly an experiment For me one of them. I know is a dye wood three of them. I don't know is our dye woods, but I do have some theories that I can't see wait to see how they translate into the stovetop part of it So let's go ahead and get started now. I'm going to do this a little differently than I did last time so let's start with this one. I'm going to go get the jars and show you how much color is in the jars, and I'm going to show you what the results are and let you know what I think. Okay, so this is mahogany. And as you can see, there's a little color in the water. There's more color in the Everclear, but there's a lot more water or color in the isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to let you compare the Everclear and the isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to get them both so that you can see the sun on them and everything. To me, the isopropyl alcohol definitely has more color. And so let's look at how they came out yarn-wise. Let's start with the, um, the water. The water has a really slight, it's actually a really sweet peach color. Um, pretty much even on the cotton and the wool blend. Well, maybe the cotton wool blend has a little stronger color than the normal wool. But, um, yeah, that's the, how the water came out. Now, let's look at the isopropyl alcohol versus the Everclear. Now, remember, I think the isopropyl alcohol, <laughs> the isopropyl alcohol has more color in it. But, for the most part, they're the same. I mean, I think, I think they're the same. So when I do the stovetop method, I'm definitely going to be using the isopropyl alcohol. I'm not going to use Everclear anymore, um, and you'll see why I'm saying that. Um, but the fact that these two jars have a lot of color in them, I am going to theorize that we're going to get some decent colors in the heated stovetop method. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to test these. And I will be testing these really soon because curiosity is killing the Bonita. <laughs> so I'm going to put these back and then we'll get out the next one. These are, and I'm, I looked it up online and I listened to something and they said it was pronounced, let me see if I can get this right, paddock. Like paddock, but a little out on it. Paddock. So, got the water, you got the Everclear, you got the isopropyl alcohol. Okay. Water. Like the mahogany, I got a nice little peach color. Uh, matter of fact, I'm sorry, this is the mahogany. Hang on. So, this is with the water. It came out a nice, kind of a light goldy yellow. I really, I mean, it's a nice color. Um, not bad for a sun tea. What I think must be alcohol soluble because there's not a whole lot of color in the water. But there is some. So that's the water. And I'm going to set it aside right now. Now, I'm going to, this is the Everclear. 
And this is the isopropyl alcohol. Let me see if I can get it so you could definitely see the colors of it. Now, the isopropyl alcohol to me is definitely, it has more color, I think, in it. But it's funny, it seems to be slightly oranger, and the Everclear seems to be slightly redder. Now, this is the isopropyl alcohol. The cotton wool blend did take the dye a little bit stronger. And then here's the Everclear. Again, the cotton wool blend seemed to take the dye a little stronger. And then let's put these up together. Again, they seem so similar. Um, I think it's a waste of the money to do Everclear on this. So, but there's still a lot of color in the jars. And like the mahogany, and I know that these are supposed to be dye woods. For some reason, memory serves that these are supposed to be like sandalwood. Um, so I can't wait to put these in the dye pots too. Um, because I'm curious to see how much more color comes out when it's heated it. But there's the three colors that we got from it. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm pleased with them. I think they're pretty. But I can't wait to see what it looks like when they're heated up. So, let me go and get the next one. So this one here is one, it's spelled B-O-C-O-T-E, so I'm assuming it's pronounced bow coat. I don't know, bow coat, bow coat, I'm not sure. Anyways, the water. <laughs> Look at this, the water has barely any color in it at all. So this is definitely a wood that is alcohol soluble. So the color that I got with the water is a barely hint at, let's just call it blah beige. <laughs> it is. It's just a very blah beige color. So the water. Now let's look at these two. These both have kind of a grayed green to them. Now I read that, i going to pronounce a bow coat for the lack of anything else, is a bit of an oily wood. So that kind of concerns me whether there would be a whole lot of take up with the yarn. But there's a lot of color in both jars. Um, they seem to be relatively similar. I don't see a whole lot of difference between the colors. And this is the results that I got from them. It is slightly less blah beige. Matter of fact, there seems to be a bit of a goldy tone to it, which is funny considering these are just, well, they're pretty much pea green, uh, pea soup green. So there's that with the water. So that's the bow coat. Now, like the others, there's a lot of color left in these, and so I really look forward to seeing what the dye pot is because I have enough left, I think, to do 100% weight of goods, but I may add these to it because the sun tea parts came out so faint. Um, I can really, yeah, let's see what these do on the stovetop. And the last one is Purple Heart. I saved this one for last because this one really surprised me. Um, again, there's a little color in the water jar, not a lot. There's really decent color in both the Everclear and the isopropyl jars. So I'm going to set the, the water for aside for a while and let's talk about these. So you have that one and you have that one. Now, to me, the isopropyl alcohol does seem to have more color to it. Um, but I'll show you what I came up with and what the results are here. It was really, really surprising on the results. Now remember, the water doesn't have hardly any color in it. And remember, this is also purple heart. You would hope that you would get purple tones out of it. I didn't. I got greens. The w one that I, I really like, the water. Water alone gave this sweet teal especially on the cotton wool blend, more green on the wool. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna put that one right here for a second because we're gonna come back to that one for a, in a bit. And then the isopropyl alcohol and the um, Everclear, I gave, they're still in the teal green family, but they're leaning way more toward greens. And they're just not as sharp, not as bright of colors. So, <clears throat> This is giving me a, a bit of a conundrum. Um, do I do this with the water, even though this is paler? Or do I do it with the isopropyl alcohol, because there's more color in the jar? 
There's the colors. I know, I'm kind of leaning toward the water. So what I might do with this one, if I have enough of the purple heart, um, I might do a dye bath with this and then a dye bath with this just to see what the color differences are. Or what I might do is start out with water and then when I'm ready to, when I've got that samples out, add the two alcohols and put a second set of samples in them. That's probably what I'll do. And I probably will add a bit more um, of the purple heart if I have enough. I don't have a whole lot of the purple heart. But um, I really like this teal. And again, I really suspected with purple hearts, I expected purples to browns. The fact that I got teal out of it really, really amazes me. And I like this color. It's, uh, yeah, it reminds me a little bit of the Alcanet Root um, stove top, uh, where I got the really gorgeous teals out of it. So, well, obviously we're going to be doing the stove top method next. And uh, we'll see what happens with these. But uh, I'm curious, aren't you?